Good morning. How does the Gospel of Mark conclude? We're looking at Mark, the last two verses, actually, chapter 16, verses 19 and 20. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. So that's the whole of the Gospel of Mark. We have spent 102 videos, counting this one, if I counted correctly, uh, working through this Gospel. So Jesus returns to heaven. His disciples spread out through the world, uh, presenting his message everywhere. And that's how this book concludes, on an evangelistic uh, mission that he has given to us. Jesus is still working for his church. He hasn't disappeared. He's very intent about what we're doing. Now, if you sit down and read this, you could read the Gospel of Mark in, in less than two hours. If you've been with me from the, every video we've done, you have invested somewhere close to seven hours watching these. So you will never have a truer friend than Jesus. Not your parents, not your children, not your spouse. The truest friend you'll ever have is Jesus. And I want to appeal to each one hearing my voice today to draw close to Jesus. Maybe some of you are watching this have never given yourself to him, or maybe you've slipped away. You've slipped away so far you realize you need to give yourself to him all over again. And so I just want to suggest to you that, yes, it's a good thing. Yes, it's something you should do. In fact, what we should do is release ourselves to him, give ourselves to him every single morning. We need to be born from above, born again every single morning, receive Jesus day by day. We need to die daily. And so I'm encouraging you to join me as we seek to do this, as we seek to let Jesus have his way with us. God is on your side. He will be with you. He wants to work with you and use you, and he will if we just allow him to. You have everything to gain and, and nothing to lose by following Jesus. Today there's a crisis in our world, a crisis of meaninglessness. People look out at this world, they think it's kind of a, a plastic set of copies. There's nothing original anymore. It's just, it's just junk. Uh, the whole culture is filled with junk. Well, that's somewhat true, but you know what? There's truth here and God has a place for you. He has a mission for you. Every disciple, not just the preachers, every disciple is called to, to follow Jesus and share, share his goodness with others. So I want to encourage you to, to re-embrace that. I want to encourage you to, to, to carry on the gospel of Mark. There are things that matter in life, things that matter a lot. And he wants you in his army. He needs you in his army. We've got a lot to do yet. And so, please, let's carry on the work and follow the Lord Jesus. There's a lot of broken people out there. Come along and let's join. Would you join Team Life with me? Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, you have been with us uh, day by day. You give us life each morning. You give us breath, uh, food, shelter, and you are wanting us to be part of your team. Help us, each one, Lord. May your blessing be upon those who are benefiting from these, who are hearing the word. We pray that it is helping them and guiding us towards you, Lord, and towards the cross. So please, Lord, be with each one. Be with their particular family needs, their particular personal battles, and strengthen each one and help us on the way to the kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, may your blessing be upon all those who hear this series on Mark. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me in looking at these. And maybe you'll join me in my next series because starting tomorrow morning, we're going to carry on. We're not done yet. We've just done one book of the Bible here. But Jesus is coming. And that's going to be our series from 1 Thessalonians starting tomorrow morning. My name is Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Fremont and Muskegon, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. We're on the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. If you go to Berrien Springs and go about 100 miles straight north, you'll, you'll grab us right there. Hey, come and worship with us sometime. We've got room. Our churches are open. We've taken some careful precautions uh, because of the, the illness uh, rampant in the world, but we, we are open. Come and worship with us. You'll see the address of my churches at the end of this video. Consider yourself invited. God be with you. Have a wonderful day. You're in the right place at the right time. God has a purpose for you. He has meaning for your life.